Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's Plan of Rescue for His Children, Let My People Go, The Path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today our topic is Wealth Transfer. Many prophets and many people have spoken about a wealth transfer that is coming. But they forget about one thing that the wealth of the sinners is stored for the righteous. And they also forget about the pattern to the first exodus. The Israelites, when they came out of Egypt, received gold and silver, a wealth transfer from the Egyptians. Now, what does it mean? It means that the people now who are going into the great exodus and walk that narrow and righteous path and who are the righteous will receive the millions of the world. So a wealth transfer will be done, but only for the people who will come out of the world and out of Babylon and not for everybody. Because the wealth is not meant for you to spend it in Egypt and it's not meant for you to spend it in the world. It is meant for the advancing of the heavenly kingdom. That's the reason why it will only be given to the righteous, the one who will lift up the needy, the nameless and faceless, who are looking for the lost sheep, who are helping the children, who are walking that straight and narrow path in the middle towards Mount Zion, who have forsaken the world and have given up on this Jezebel spirit in, in Babylon, who will not anymore listen to the false churches, or the false preachers, the wolves in sheep clothing, <clears throat> but will come out of the world and out of Babylon and walk that path to the holy mountain. For them, a wealth transfer is coming, but only for them. In the same pattern as the Israelites received gold and silver from the Egyptians, so now the people who will walk in the great exodus coming out of the world and out of Babylon, they will receive the millions of the world, a wealth transfer, because God knows that these people who are the righteous will then use the funds to advance his kingdom and to help the needy, the poor, the suffering, who will then share the resources, will then support one another, and will then build societies of the rose assemblies of love and righteousness in the nations to gather the people for the great harvest, for the harvest of the ages, so that at the end, at the sixth seal, a multitude clothed in white will stand at Mount Zion and will be raptured into paradise. So do not believe that you will receive a wealth transfer if you remain in the world and if you remain in Babylon. Only when you come out, it is a similar pattern to the exodus from Egypt. So understand that you have to come out of the world and out of Babylon to receive the wealth transfer and to be counted righteous. Do not stand with one leg in the world and one leg with Jesus. You cannot serve two masters. So, un so understand that the wealth transfer is coming, what is absolutely true, but only for the people who are walking the great exodus who are coming out of the world and out of Babylon, walking that righteous narrow path in the middle towards Mount Zion, the holy mountain of the Lord, not carved by human hands. And in that place, at the sixth seal, as you can read in Revelation, a multitude clothed in white will stand, because they have made their filthy garment clean in the blood of the Lamb. And that is exactly what we are doing. That's exactly what the mission of Triple Grace is, to bring these people together, to gather the people with the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, and to place them in the restored altar, like Elijah did it on Mount Carmel, to restore the altar to its former glory, and then to walk that narrow path, and be part of the rapture of the remnant church at the sixth seal at Mount Zion. Be part of it and receive your wealth transfer. Leave the world, but not without the millions from the world. 
because God knows that you will use the funds to share, to support, and to be kind and generous to the poor, the needy, the children, the suffering, the widows, the orphans. I hope I made it clear that the wealth transfer is coming, but only for the righteous. And the righteous will this ones who will forsake the world and Babylon, forsake careers, forsake luxuries, forsake riches, do a leap of faith and come out, out of the world and out of Babylon. In the similar pattern as the Israelites had to take a leap of faith and come out of Egypt, out of their security and walk into the wilderness towards the promised land. Thank you that you have listened to this topic and I hope that I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day and think about it. A wealth transfer is coming, but only for the righteous, for the ones out of the world and out of Babylon. Maranath.